Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia Danielle. If you are new here, you can call me Amelia or you can call me D. It is entirely up to you. So I wanted to show y'all some of the things that I picked up here recently. The first thing I want to show y'all is these dog on lens wipes. And so if you ever go into Walmart, Target, Walgreens, wherever you can get these, make sure y'all pick up a pack. I forget how much they cost, but they were fairly cheap. But they really help with cleaning your cell phone screen, your camera screen, and I have noticed that when I am on social media, a lot of people do not clean out their screen before they get started with recording a video because the video is kind of like blurry or like the lighting sucks. And so like right now I am using a ring light and I'm using my Canon EOS R10 camera to vlog this mini vlog. And so I know y'all see me with my topical patches on. I feel like recently over the past few weeks, I have been waking up with like bats under my eyes. And so I went ahead and did my facial routine and then I ended Ended with putting on my topical eye patches and I am going to end with some daily moisturizing lotion but this is the lotion that I will be putting on to end my facial routine today is Sunday and so I'm not gonna do nothing significant I only use three products let me make sure I am zooming in so y'all can see that but this is called Sarah B daily moisturizing lotion and this is the last thing that i need to put on my face i didn't put none on beforehand because i wanted to make sure my topical patches stuck to my eyes and so i'm gonna put that on so my face won't look dry but yeah y'all i have some things that i want to share with y'all and maybe this will help y'all in the future or moving forward in regards to like dealing with people or just like society in general so like i said before make sure you pick up some lens wipes i will link them down below either in my ltk or on my amazon which i will probably link them on my ltk because i did purchase them from walmart i did not purchase them from amazon but in regards to like what i use to vlog and all of that good stuff i will link them on my amazon and so if y'all do not know a lot of times people will go to like certain places and pick certain things up like target um what's another one old uh, Sephora's and all of that but they have not qualified for an LTK account yet and so when you don't qualify for an LTK you tend to just go to Amazon and put them in your cart or put them on your storefront and then you link them that way because you qualify to be an Amazon influencer and so I am an Amazon influencer and I just started with my LTK so I will link these wipes down below you all they have helped so 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 much and so i'll stop talking about that and i will pull my hair up out of the way um to take away from like distractions as far as like me talking and y'all like honing in on my face or whatever the case may be i am going to get my hair dyed i'm so scared i'm so nervous y'all tell me in the comments below if y'all think i should dye my hair i'm like so indecisive about it i have been going back and forth about it for the past few months so i didn't really think about dyeing my hair until my son mentioned it and he sent me like a picture which i will link on the screen and show y'all i feel like it's too bright because i am in the military i know i am at the duty and i feel like the color is gonna like pop because of my skin complexion but then i feel like over time it's gonna start looking crazy and i'm just scared in regards to like my locks being damaged or um having to go get it re-dyed all over again and then how it's going to look after the color starts like fading away i think that's the thing that i'm most scared about is getting the color and then the color gradually over time fading away and then my locks start looking like two colors and so I don't know but yes y'all these are the lens wipes that I wanted to show y'all I use them all the time especially for my new iPhone because I just got a brand new iPhone and so I clean the front of the camera we always tend to do this when we're picking up our phone or over here and do you know and then it's a whole lot of smudges and so I'm gonna show y'all the camera quality of my new phone but my thing is um i had a 12 so i had a iphone 12 pro max and Jaden, i got him an iphone for christmas and his quality was like 
You hear me? Like he had uploaded a YouTube video, which I will link his channel down below if y'all are interested in following. And he used his phone and I said, what is going on? Now, I don't want to use my phone for vlogging because my husband did get me this Canon. And so I will use my Canon to stick with like recording longer videos because with your phone, you tend to take up a lot of storage and space. And so I just don't want to do that. I want to solely use my Canon for recording or like uploading YouTube videos. And so... I'm going to try to show y'all. It's probably going to look like really, really funky, but let me see. The quality is like I'm looking at myself, basically. Like, it's like I'm in the picture or in, like, right beside the person. I'm not sure. It's not making sense, y'all. But first and foremost, I always get my wipes, wipe off the back of the camera. Y'all see my ring light? And so I'm wiping off the back of the camera with my lens cleaning cloth. And if y'all can see my hand, look how clear that picture is. I like, I was just thinking to myself, why didn't I upgrade my phone a long time ago, y'all? Like, what was I doing? Why was I playing? I think, well, society tells us that when other people purchase things or allow us to believe that when people purchase things that we should be doing the same thing. And I had kind of like got out of the habit of doing that, which don't make sense because I'm basically being hypocritical because I am telling y'all to go purchase some lens wipes. But the lens wipes only like five or six dollars. So it's, I don't think it's the same as going out to purchase an iPhone. So this is the iPhone 15 Pro Max and it was $1,100. I didn't have to pay anything down and I had to pay a $35 activation fee and for the most part I am loving the camera quality that, that was the number one thing that I liked the most and as far as like taking pictures so this is the new phone and so I wanted to show y'all the lens wipes I wanted to show y'all the phone I got mine in the color of blue I wanted to show y'all I wanted to show y'all my lens wipes I wanted to show y'all my new phone and now let's get down to the nitty-gritty I apologize in advance y'all I'm keeping these topical patches on because I just been having bags in my eyes and I don't want to say that I have been having bags in my eyes because when I first started using the patches um like the very next day I started having bags but I do recognize that before I started using the patches I didn't have any bags and so I don't know if it's because I started using them and now I'm noticing the bags or if it's like I used it and like the bags just gradually over time I don't know and I haven't been sleeping that good neither um so that could be another reason also, if you are ARMY and you are trying to improve your GT score, make sure y'all check out my recent video that I just uploaded in regards to BCEP and the words because the words are double the points. And so even though there's only 16 words, just think they're double. So if they are double, you will get double the points, right? It makes sense, okay? So let me tell y'all, over the past few months i have been battling with how to deal with like people just people in general like co-workers family friends or whatever not so much my friends because i feel like my friends know me and my family know me um i don't feel like my co-workers know me but in regards to like i have been battling like with not entertaining or giving people the like like a certain um energy or like having them stress me out or going back and forth arguing and just telling someone like hey I don't want to do this let's you know revisit or let's meet in person let's talk about this together face to face let's figure out how we can move forward but no that don't be happening don't be happening because we will be on the phone and you know I'll listen and then I'll wait on that person to finish talking and I'm like well no that's not blah 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 and so at that point when I disagree with what they're saying or Basically, I need to recognize and start taking accountability for the way that people feel about something that I do. And so I realized that that is a fault and an issue that I need to continue working on because if someone feels that way, they just feel that way. You know, like even though I may not agree and even though I may feel like what you're saying is incorrect because I feel like I'm not what you're claiming me to be for example if i'm at work and you're like hey how come you missed the suspense date for this i told you about this two weeks ago in my mind i'm gonna automatically get defensive because i'm just like well first of all two weeks ago i was doing this and then i was doing this i went to go do a sack inspection i went to go you know to the supply rooms i was helping out with doing x y and z i went to mdrs turn in to make sure the unit was good i did abcd attended these supply links since i was updating us 
guitar slides and so when somebody is telling me like hey you missed a suspense date for this or oh this ain't what I need and how come you waited to the last minute and how come I'm just looking like I'm one person right I'm one person person the thing that I know that I need the help with the most most is asking for help like I will get the help but I don't really ask for help I would rather just do it myself and so I need to start recognizing accountability for the things that I do and the part that I play to help minimize certain disagreements or arguments because it tends to take me out of character like when someone says well you did da, 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 I'm just like well hold up because X, Y, Z and B, 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 you know and so I automatically get defensive and I feel like a lot of people do that so moving forward I would like to take the time to stop and really listen to what someone has to say now um, and just basically take constructive criticism and I feel like if you know me, you know how to present how you feel to me. But if you don't know me, i.e. a coworker or, or i.e. like a family member who I don't uh, talk to, you know, every single day. Like I talk to my family all the time, but you really don't know me like behind closed doors other than when you see me at gatherings or dinner or something like that. And even then, I am still trying to be on my best behavior. It's like I have a different personality when I'm around people versus like, when I'm around my spouse and my kids and so I do understand that um if you don't know me you may be entitled to feeling how you are feeling and I just have to take a chill and you know bring it back and be like you know what you're right I will do x y and z based off of how you feel because you you know what I'm saying you are bringing it to my attention for a reason let's have a face to face let's sit down and talk about it I don't think this is the right time to discuss it I feel like we all need to be a part of this I feel like we you know and so you tell me how you feel and then I'm telling you how, how I feel because I don't want to argue I'm not an argumentative person and so when you take me out of character that's it for me that's it like even though I am working on taking accountability for myself moving forward, if you already crossed that line with me, then it's a it's apparent that you took it there with me after. Because what I have done with certain individuals is say like, hey, I don't want to do this. Let's revisit the conversation. Let's talk about this later. Or I won't even say nothing at all. You know, like even down to the point where somebody's like, well, hold on, hold on. Let me see this or let me find out this or hold on. And then I will hold and they will come back and they will still be like, because of da 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 And I'm just like... You know what? Now is not the time. And so, <sighs> allowing someone to take you out of character. Listen, we are going to work on that. We are halfway through the year. It is July. And so, halfway through the year, it is July. And we have five months left before it is like basically 2025 like this year went by really really fast and so when it pertains to people texting me saying something crazy or someone calling me and saying something crazy I just cannot do it no more y'all like I'm just over it even down to like my parents and so like yesterday my dad texted me and he was like are you being sarcastic and in my head I'm like I'm really not being sarcastic and so I didn't even respond because I knew I wasn't being sarcastic but I didn't want to give my dad the energy to make it seem as if though I was being sarcastic and so I'm going to text him today and say no dad you know I love you I'm sorry if you took it that way because I'm working on me like I am 37 and I just want to do that with everyone like I don't want nobody to get me out of 10 you know what I'm saying I want to stay down here because stress kills and we just have to be mindful of other people and how they feel and so I feel like taking accountability and even when you do take accountability still make sure that you are being who you are still make sure that you are staying true to yourself and who you are and you know you're gonna have to just agree to disagree you're gonna have to compromise especially in relationships but when it pertains to like friends or family members or co-workers you don't really owe them nothing other than just the conversation um you can apologize because i do feel like apologizing is the first step to um recognizing your faults you know what i'm saying and so that was pretty much it in regards to that part of today's video um we have been doing a whole lot of renovations i'm not sure if i want to show y'all phoenix room but i do need to finish clean finish cleaning so i basically like repainted his room his dad got him an overhead projector um and I started painting the entire house. We got some new 
uh, sockets, I guess. sockets. I have to go put some fresh water in my roses. I love roses. That's like, that's my thing. You know what I'm saying? And I want to iron clothes for the week. Um, not necessarily my clothes because I be taking my uniforms to the cleaners, but Phoenix clothes because it is the summertime. And even when it's not and he's in school, I just like to have everything prepped so when he wake up, he's like good to go. Hey Phoenix, put this on. Um, and so I'm gonna iron some clothes. I'm gonna refresh in my rose water. I'm going to try and post a little bit of content on Instagram. If you are not following me, make sure you follow me at AmeliaG5587. And then make sure you share my, make sure you share my last BCEP word knowledge words they are on my community tab it's like 209 words I still have people DMing me and inboxing me asking me for the words and I made a TikTok explaining to y'all where they were at and where they were located I feel like I'm going to do like a teens channel with just like information in regards to mentorship regardless of what your MOS is because the number one thing is for military um, career progression is improving a GT score but if there is something that y'all would like to discuss or know or have me find out or whatever the case may be in regards to the military or just like in general um, let me know but I'm gonna go ahead and get started with ironing clothes going to refresh my water I'm probably going to mop and I have to vacuum as well and so this is pretty much it for today's video if y'all wanna you know see how I clean and refresh my water and all of that and I will show y'all like some of the new sockets that I got uh for the house because we are like renovating or whatever the case may be then stick around to the end and if you have any questions make sure you comment down below do not forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if he walk around that's quick it ain't Andre CK think I won't drop the location I still got PTSD motherfuck the big three nigga it's just big me nigga boom what? I don't really like that hey your best work is a life pack nigga Prince outlive my jack nigga boom boy your dogs getting buried that's a K with all these nines he gon' see Pet cemetery. nigga boom I don't feel a selling dope bitch you like that kicking dogs kicking in doors bitch you like Selling laws as you like that. All 24, you won't go as you like that. Niggas from the bottom really like that. If you are in the Fayetteville, North Carolina area, make sure you go to Army City because look at the wings. This is the 15 count garlic mixed with barbecue, I believe it is. Um, they also sell gyros and my husband got a red velvet cheesecake from there. But Army City is hands down such a great place to go get wings from. Wings that you get from like Zatsby's. They just be hard. Like depending on where you go to get wings from, they don't taste all that good. Um, so go to Army City, check them out if you are in Fayville. Like if you are stationed here or if you just live here. But I wanted to show y'all really quick the flowers that I got from Hobby Lobby. So listen. Why do they make things so cheap? Why do they make things the way that they do? I'm just not understanding. And so I had purchased these to go in my vase that I got from Z Gallery, which I will show y'all here in a moment. But like a day passed and then this is what it looked like. I walked downstairs y'all like literally the next day and this was detached from the flower. Like granted it's artificial, it's plastic, but it was $14.99 and I'm lying because Hobby Lobby always do the 50% off and so it was like maybe seven bucks, but this piece fell off and then it was another piece, like one of these pieces that fell off as well. But I'm gonna show y'all the vase. So this is the vase that I got and I had some inspo from Z Gallery, but then as I looked at it, I was just like, mm, not feeling it. So I took them out and then I put them in my big vase and I also got that vase that I just showed y'all from out the kitchen from Z Gallery as well. So this big vase and the vase in the kitchen came from Z Gallery and I need to freshen up my water for my roses because um, they just need some fresh water. I think I put water in them like maybe three or four days ago but as you can see the water is starting to look a little femish, fem-ish. I don't know if that's a word but you can just tell as you walk by in the light that the water does not look as clear as it looked when I first put the roses in there. So I'm about to change out the water. I am going to vacuum my couch. 
um and it's a little dark y'all i apologize as i said we are doing home renovations and so i took all of the pictures down from off the walls and so there's nothing up here um i have to repaint this wall and for the most part i redid all of this and i wanted to show y'all like the light fixtures that we have throughout the house which i think is very very cute because they're gold so we have those and then we have one over here and then we also have them upstairs but i'm not finished and i am going to vacuum using that with the couch and that's pretty much it for today today is sunday and so i'm going to relax me and my husband are going to watch what's the name of the show house of dragons and this will pretty much be it for the rest of the day and here like wiping down the refrigerator you know the counters and all of that then i will go start ironing but um we went to army city really quick got some chicken wings i'm going to start ironing and this is pretty much it so y'all let me know how y'all weekend is this was a pretty short vlog but i still wanted to give y'all something i know i still have on these eye patches y'all and you only supposed to leave them on there for like 15 to 20 minutes but we went to army city i came home i started cleaning i showed y'all the base i showed y'all i actually showed y'all the wings that we got from army city because if you are in the Fayetteville area you need to go there because their food is so good I was about to go upstairs and show y'all Phoenix room but he dozed off in the car and he came in the house and walked right upstairs and so he is asleep and so I don't want to go in there and bust him in and show y'all his room and so I will show y'all on another video but I am ending this with going upstairs to iron clothes today is Sunday tomorrow is Monday so I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for the week me and my husband are going to watch House of Dragons if you are not tracking what that uh show is is basically like a show that goes with game of thrones so game of thrones was you know what i'm saying hands down i think it was a good show and so you will probably like this one too but it is on what prime video i think we watch it on i think you have to have a subscription i'm not really sure if it's like on stars or whatever the app is because my husband has it um and i think it's like a monthly thing that you have to pay for but check it out if you can and that was pretty much it for today's vlog i wanted to get on here and record something i just haven't gotten on here and did a vlog the last video was army related and so i wanted to you know show y'all um what i've been up to and talk about my new phone and all of that i also also want to get a new piercing in my ear and so i think i'm going to do that when me and jaden go to miami which i will try to vlog a little bit of that and post some stuff on my instagram but make sure y'all check out my ig at a Amelia G5587. I hope y'all have a great week. I hope y'all understand what I mean by taking accountability and not letting people get to you. Make sure y'all go get the lens wipes because it does help with the front and back camera. When you are trying to record, it makes a huge difference because there are smudges and smears on your phone when you are, you know, putting your hands all over it without even recognizing that you are doing it. So I talked about the lens wipes. I talked about my new iPhone 15 Pro Max. I am loving it so far. I only had it for like maybe three days. And we went to Army City. I'm gonna go ahead and um, sweep mop vacuum and go iron clothes. But in regards to like toxic people um, taking accountability, I wanted to basically talk about that and how I have been struggling and the things that I am going to do. I'm going to take accountability and I'm just not going to entertain things that I feel that comes my way in regards to toxicity because I'm just getting too old for it. I don't want to be involved or engaged in it. And so I'm just going to remove myself from those people. Like even if it is somebody that i'm close to i guess i just now know that i have to limit certain conversations or you know what i'm saying and so that was really what this vlog was about is just holding yourself accountable recognizing certain things that you do and showing y'all some of the new things that i just purchased and so i hope y'all like this video and if you are not subscribed go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video peace <laughs>